Hi, I haven't had too much to share lately. Nothing too terribly exciting has been going on. I've been spending a lot of time sewing and painting and just kind of working quietly away. But today I do have something a little bit more thrilling. Um, I just received two huge, huge boxes of antique doll underwear and also um, some antique sheets and antique women's underwear and all kinds of great things that I'm going to be able to use to uh, fashion all of the underpinnings for the little Isanas that I make. Normally I do use antique fabric and that often includes antique women's um, undergarments that are no longer in usable condition and I take them apart and I turn them into doll underwear. But I had the opportunity recently to acquire a great deal of doll underwear and so what I'm going to be doing for the most part is altering it to fit the Isanas. And I don't think that's going to be any faster, but I do think it will be very, very neat and just a little fun thing to do for the dolls that I make. So let's take a look. I went ahead and cut the tape so I could get into all of the boxes without having to try to struggle with the camera and the scissors at the same time. So we've got these two boxes, which are so heavy, I cannot imagine. And this is the first one. Now this one, oh gosh, I knew about this. I hadn't seen it before, but this is an antique sheet. And it says sheet hemmed by Aunt Maria. And it's got like a provenance on it. And this is this wonderful, wonderful old cotton sheeting. And I'm just going to show you. Okay. Do you see, can you see that? That's the hemming. And that's all done by hand. All those teeny tiny perfect little stitches. Now, I'm not absolutely sure I'm going to be able to talk myself into cutting into this. I kind of have trouble doing that with things people have spent a long time making if they're still in a usable condition. So uh, this might spend a little time on some of my antique rope beds uh, first. But if and when I do eventually cut it, what I will be doing is making sure to save that hemmed edge and having that be the hem for like doll petticoats and chemises. Oh, and under here, oh gosh. All right, some things I don't normally include with the dolls, but there are an awful lot of nightgowns in this group of things. So maybe we'll have some wonderful surprises of clothing that um, I don't normally have available. This is adorable. I could just see Isabel in this. Let's see what else we've got. Oh gosh, this one seems to be, oh, isn't this wonderful? This is a baby chemise. Wow. Just beautiful. Handmade buttonholes. Lovely lace. And some of these things are going to be too big for most of, the, of these. But we'll see how, oh gosh, another baby chemise. Wow, what lovely things. I haven't had a chance to look at any of this yet. I mean, I literally just cut the boxes open. Oh, what's this? Oh, it looks like the dye ran in the embroidery. Oh gosh, that's too bad. I don't know if I'll be able to do anything about that. But look at that. This is beautiful. And it's feather stitch. And you can see it's early by the placement of the seam in the sleeve. Wow, I'll have to get out all of my conservation soaps and see if I can do anything to get the color from the embroidery floss off of the fabric. Even with that staining, it's still beautiful. Oh gosh. Oh, just, oh wow. Just layer after layer of little chemises and nightgowns in this one. Oh, and there's even flannel. There's flannel petticoats, bull flannel, and cotton flannel. Oh, I, 
didn't even know there was going to be any printed fabric. Look at this. Look at this. Oh gosh, there's aprons. Just Izzy size too. Wow. Oh gosh. What, how wonderful. I know I'm saying gosh a lot. I'm just kind of overwhelmed. This is such a great bunch of stuff. This all came from a woman who was a longtime doll collector and doll dealer. And um, her children are now finding new homes for some of the things that she owned. And I was lucky enough to be able to purchase these. And I'm just really so grateful that I had the opportunity to do that. Let's look in this other box. Oh, oh my God, how nice. Even a thank you note. I really appreciate that. Oh, asking me, hoping that I'll be able to put all of the cloth and the clothes to good use. How sweet. Let's see what we have. Oh, these appear to be petticoats. Oh, some lovely, lovely lace trim on this. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Oh gosh. You can tell that there's just some wonderful pieces in here and so much of it, which is wonderful because I'm, I won't have to, I spend a lot of time searching flea markets and antique stores and just pretty much any place I can think of to find antique fabrics and antique clothing to remake for the dolls. And this is going to be so nice to know that I'll have some on hand for quite a while. Look at that. Well, I'm not going to record every little bit of this because clearly that would take a long time. But I did want to share this with you. I also had one more little box come today. So this is a pretty exciting day here at the Sweet Remembrance Studios, although right at the moment we're actually in my house, which was where everything got delivered. It's kind of a rainy day, so I didn't try to haul it out to the studios. This one is a dye. I bought a lot of um, natural dyes. There's indigo. There should be some turkey red in here and a, and a purple. And this is all going to be destined for um, doll clothing, too. I'm going to experiment with doing some dyeing on fabric. I do that a lot. I mean, I have. I do a lot of natural dyeing, but I broke down and actually bought dyes this time instead of growing my own dye stuffs. So this should be fun because indigo isn't something that I can um, grow here in Connecticut. And I can't do the turkey red either. And while I can get some purples, I can't get this purple. So I splurged. So. That'll have to be a surprise for later, and we'll see if I can come up with something excellent with this. Otherwise, here today, it's just life as normal. I'm sewing. I've got a sweet Izzy here and a couple of bodice tops that I need to hook onto their skirts. Oh, <laughs> and this is an entire dress that's all cut out. I know it doesn't look like much. It's just rectangles and strips of fabric. But that's actually the way the um, dresses were cut for children and dolls during the mid-18th century. So this is actually an entire dress. It just needs to be put together. Isn't that great fabric? It's from the back of an antique quilt that I was fortunate enough to find in Sturbridge this fall. Well, thank you for joining, and I hope that this was fun for you guys. It certainly was for me. And eventually, all of this will be showing up on dolls. So that'll be fun. Thank you. Bye-bye.